Good afternoon, I'm Brian Jackson, Assistant AD for Communications here at Fairleigh Dickinson. Thank you all for joining us today on NEC Front Row. At this time, I'd like to bring up our Director of Athletics, Brad Hurlbut, with today's announcement. Thanks, Brian. Good afternoon, and to our Knights family all over the world, thanks for tuning in. It is with great pride that I announce that the FDU Athletics Department will be adding men's volleyball as its 20th Division I sport. This is indeed an historic day for our university, athletic department, student, alumni, and friends. When I became the Director of Athletics in February of 2019, I knew that this was something we could achieve. I said at that time, we want to be one of the preeminent athletic institutions in the New York metropolitan area. And today continues that charge. I would like to thank President Capuano and the Board of Trustees for their leadership and belief in our strategic vision. Additionally, today would not be possible without the support from First Point Volleyball Foundation and its CEO, Wade Gerard. Sincere thanks for making it possible for us to achieve FDU's First Point next season. Men's volleyball is perfectly suited to achieve the visions and goals of our department and university as a whole. One of those goals is to continue to recruit high school students from New Jersey to go to college in their home state. There is no better way to do this than by adding men's volleyball, as New Jersey currently ranks third in the country in boys' volleyball participation with over, with over 4,500 young men playing this terrific sport. To that end, I'm excited to immediately begin a national search for our first men's volleyball head coach so they are in a solid position to successfully recruit and compete next year. Our athletic, our athletic department is on the move and continues to be on the rise. Over the past two years, our student athletes have successfully, have succeeded successfully in three phases of their development, athletically, academically, and socially. I'd be remiss if I didn't take a moment to acknowledge some of those highlights. Our men's basketball team won its first NCAA tournament game in school history. And we captured NEC championships in women's golf, men's soccer, and women's indoor track and field. This past semester, our student athletes continued their streak of what is now 38 consecutive semesters with a GPA above a 3.0 and our student athletes gave back to the community in a record-setting way and was recognized with the 2020 NEC Building Communities Award with over 2,300 community service hours within Bergen County. The addition of men's volleyball will no doubt help to elevate our successes in these three areas. Our men's volleyball program will be a great addition for the, any, for the Northeast region as well. We look forward to competing against our NEC peers who sponsor men's volleyball, St. Francis Brooklyn, St. Francis PA, and Sacred Heart University. Additionally, two other Division I New Jersey institutions, NJIT and Princeton, sponsor this great sport. We will move forward with applying for membership in the Eastern Intercollegiate Volleyball Association and look forward to competing around the country next season. At this time, I would like to turn it over to Wade Gerard of First Point Volleyball for a special presentation. My name is Wade Gerard, CEO of the First Point Volleyball Foundation. When John Spraw and I founded First Point four years ago, we had situations like this in mind. We have found through intentional and professional advocacy and by providing meaningful philanthropic dollars donated by volleyball fans from all over the country, we can grow NCAA Division I men's volleyball. 
So we are proud to be partnering with Fairleigh Dickinson University to announce this program, especially now during a pandemic. On behalf of the 19 men and women volunteer board members and donors of the First Point Volleyball Foundation Board of Directors, I would like to congratulate President Capuano and A.D. Hurlbut for this exciting announcement. I've been so impressed with the leadership team here at FDU Athletics, and so we know this program will be in good hands. You are starting this sport at a good time for volleyball. Boys high school volleyball is by far the fastest growing team sport in America for high school boys, having grown 22% over the last five years. And New Jersey is a hotbed state for boys with the third most largest total of amount of boys playing the game. And college men's volleyball over the last 10 years has also grown, seeing over 80 new programs in the last decade and two new Division I men's volleyball teams just in the last two years. So please know that as you launch men's volleyball here at FDU, your new team day one will have many fans from all over the country. As this contribution check does indeed represent the support of many volleyball loving donors who are committed to growing this game. At First Point Volleyball Foundation, we are committed to providing more student athlete experiences and we are excited for young men to soon be having a student athlete experience at FDU, and it won't be long. So it is my pleasure to present this check for $200,000 to Brad Hurlbut to Fairleigh Dickinson University. Brad? Thank you all for tuning in today for today's announcement. Stay tuned now for some messages from prominent members of the volleyball community. Hi everyone, my name is John Sparaw, head coach for the U.S. national team. With only six months to go before the Tokyo Olympic Games, I wanted to share the enthusiasm from all of us at USA Volleyball about the addition of a new Division I men's volleyball program at Fairleigh Dickinson University. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to add another Division I program to the entire Olympic sport movement. I'd like to thank Wade Girard and all the donors to the First Point Volleyball Foundation for the grant that was given to FDU. And finally, congratulations to Brad Hurlbut and the entire Fairleigh Dickinson community. Boys and men's volleyball continues to be on the rise, and I look forward to Fairleigh Dickinson's first point in January of 2022. Hi, my name is Sarah Wilhelmy, the Senior Director of Collegiate Partnerships for the United States Olympic and Paralympic Committee. Congratulations, Fairleigh Dickinson University, on adding men's volleyball to your list of D1 sponsored sports. Olympic sports at the college level are vital to Team USA and awesome opportunities for student athletes. We wish you the best of luck and go Knights.